Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. So guys, what I want to talk to y'all about today is, uh, and I know this is going to sound like an infomercial and I don't mean it to. Hang on just a minute, let's adjust that camera just a hair. There we go. Uh, it's going to sound like an infomercial, I don't mean it to, uh, but I get a lot of requests and I get a lot of uh, messages, text messages on Messenger and as far as comments on my videos about what types of lures to use for predators at what sets and at what times of the year. So I want to try to, try to go over that just a little bit with y'all here without trying to get too far in depth and, and muddy in the water too much. Um, so let's, uh, let's get this thing set up just a little different. Let's jump right in here to it. Montana Red, of course, is a, is a Red Fox Gland Lure. Gray Bandit is a, is a uh, coyote based or a coyote gland lure. Use those that you're, you know, up on the lip of the hole, or you can use them at a mafia type set. Like, and when you do that, guys, when you use these at a mafia type set, any one of my lures or baits will work at that set. But I mean, just a minute amount. I mean, enough to cover a match head is all you need because you have to realize you've got the coyote on the trail already. You're not trying to pull him over there to it. He's already there. So. You just want enough to where when he gets over, to, you kind of stall him out and he goes, whoa, 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 what's this? Okay, so that's all you're doing there. You don't need a large amount at those type of sets, trail sets. That's what I'm talking about when I say mafia set. Uh, O'Gorman coined that phrase or, or come up with a set. It's a lured trail set, okay? But you've already got him on the trail. All you're doing is trying to stall him out just a little bit. So... You know, use a minute amount. Um, you can use them lure, those gland lures at a flat set. You know, I like mine uh, on a piss post. I want it down at the base of it, whether it's a, a cedar branch or a, a stick or a tuff of grass, whatever it might be. I want it down at the base. I don't want it up high. Um, and then, of course, a good shot of quality urine there with it, and you're in business. Um, same way at a dirt hole, I want it kind of smeared on the inside upper lip of the dirt hole and then drag it kind of out and above too if you want to. Doesn't hurt a thing. Um, call type lures, uh, the diff there's a difference. There's a difference between a call type lure and a long distance call. Uh, guys get that confused quite a bit. They think a, a call type lure should be, you know, with a lot of skunk in it. Well, there can be some skunk there. There could be some mink glands. There could be some civet musk, something of that sort. But it's, it's a trace odor, not the predominant odor. Now, in a long-distance call lure, yes, then when you crack the lid on that, that should blow the hat off your head uh, with skunk because you're wanting that to reach out and grab them from a longer distance. A call-type lure, something, like I said, with some mink or some civet, something of that sort, you can use it down at the, in the hole. You can use it as an attraction at a flat set. But then also, I like to put a little bit above and behind the set to get it out on the air currents to get it doing its thing. Uh, those, those are call type lures. Um, baits, you know, of course, bait should be, you can use it at a flat set, you can use it at a grab and die, you can, you know, uh, you can use it uh, at a dirt hole, either one, any one of the three, it doesn't matter. Um, use a, a, a liberal amount of bait down the hole now most of my baits are pretty you know in fact all three of them actually as far as predator baits and texas candy break texas peg leg and uh and predator buster are all pretty liquidy and pretty runny and then the reason i make them that way is so that you can pour them down the hole and and they can't just come in and and walk it you know rake it out of the hole a big chunk of it and walk off with it uh, he's got to stay there and dig and, and kind of froth and foam with the mouth and get with the program. And by then, you should have him caught if you're setting right and, and, and everything. It, he should have that, that animal caught. Uh, as far as, like, for bobcats, uh, my aces and eights is a really good cat lure. In fact, it's a really good cat lure. Um, holds a real attraction to the cats, holds real attraction to coyotes. And is absolutely deadly on late season coyotes, especially the females that are bred. I don't know what it is about it, but it holds a very high attraction to those coyotes. So any of you that are running ADC programs, 
that might be one you might want to take a look at and get the problem solved before she ever drops pups. Um, that'd be a good one for you to, to use in that situation. Uh, guys, I think, you know, I know this is kind of a fast little video as far as we're trying to delve off into what we're trying to get into, but, uh, you know, and, and uh, let me back up here. Uh, let's go into curiosity lures just a little bit. Curiosity lures like my Thunderstruck, um, Longliner's Pal, which are both food, but curiosity because Thunderstruck is beaver caster based, Longliner's Pal is fish egg based. So they're food type lures, but hold curiosity ingredients with them. Uh, and they're made to go down in a dirt hole or can be used at a flat set, either one, uh, just to pique that animal's not only his hunger, but his curiosity as well as to, well, why is this out here, you know, kind of thing. So I think we'll I think we'll stop this video here, guys. Uh, Montana Rancher, if you're watching this video, please get a hold of me. Uh, we have a, a young lad that's uh, wanting to come to the school. My phone number is 319-217-0655. You can either call me or mess or, or text me. Uh, either one. So if you're watching this, please get a hold of me, uh, guys. I appreciate you tuning in to watch. Oh, we got hats. We got hats available, uh, $25 a piece. I'm out of, they're out of stock right at the moment. The first dozen I got were gone before I ever got them in my hands. But we've got more coming, and if I need to order more, we'll order more. So those of you that might be interested in helping support the channel a little more, we got hats available as well as hoodies and as well as T-shirts also. So, Guys, I appreciate you tuning in to watch. I appreciate everything you've done for this channel. If you haven't yet, if you would, please hit that thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and hit that subscribe button for me. Once again, this is Dale Bellingsley with another one. Signing out.